Okay, the next thing we're going to practice is using the lasso tools. Now we have lasso select, we have polygon lasso select, and we have magnetic. Magnetic works great when your object and your background are in high contrast to each other, meaning opposites. Um, for now, for the sake of time, I'm just going to show you with the lasso select. I'm going to use my mouse to go ahead and outline the pigeon. And I'm not the greatest doing this with a mouse. Permission to laugh at me with and my bad mouse skills. Okay, so now from here that this pigeon is selected, what I want to do is I want to put this pigeon on the lady's head and um, delete out the other pigeon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press, um, let me just do it this way so you can see it. I'm going to select copy and it should copy what I've selected. Okay. Edit, paste. What you'll notice when we pasted it is we had a whole new layer pop in. So for the time being, I'm going to turn off the back layer. Okay, now that does not um, get rid of the background. I just can't see it right now. So that way it just kind of like isolates this layer. I'm gonna switch to my move tool and I'm gonna drag this around view. I'm gonna zoom back out. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this guy up here. Okay, and I'm gonna turn back on the layer. Now, if I put this pigeon on top of her head, it looks ridiculous, okay? So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this down. So I'm going to go image, excuse me, I'm going to go edit. I could, if I, if I knew which size to type in or I wanted to rotate it, I could use these features, okay? But instead, I'm going to go to edit, okay? And I'm going to go to transform. Okay, and then from there, from there, I'm going to choose scale. Now, what this does is it gives me my handles. Okay, and I can really get in here and like change it and resize it. Okay, so I'm going to put this pigeon on top of her head instead of the other one. Okay, now I'm not just going to cover up the other one. So I like the placement of that pigeon. So I'm going to take a second and I'm going to turn off that layer, okay, and teach you a new tool.